These are my keys to victory uh, against Terrence Crawford and Sean Porter. I have watched basically not all of Terrence Crawford's fights. I've probably seen Terrence Crawford's last 15 fights. And the only time I've ever seen Terrence Crawford even in any kind of trouble was against Eurekas Gamboa. Where Gamboa hit Terrence Crawford with an overhand right in the ninth round, buckling Terrence Crawford's legs. If uh, you've never seen this, go back to uh, round nine, uh, two eleven of nine of the ninth round, and you'll see where Gamboa hit Terrence Crawford and buckled him. But the uh, the opponent that Porter and Crawford have in common is Kell Brooks. Sean Porter fought Kell Brooks in, uh, I think, 2014, yes, 2014, and Kell Brooks uh, uh, beat Sean Porter all around the ring. Uh, Porter was throwing wild shots, and I, I kind of feel that Porter's style is tailor-made for the way Terrence Crawford fights. Terrence Crawford loves uh, you diving in at him. Terrence. So now you can see here where Terrence Crawford fought Kell Brooks and stopped him in 2020. So even though he wasn't fighting the same Kell Brooks that Sean Porter was fighting because Kell Brooks probably was at the peak of his career uh, when he was fighting Porter. So not to say that uh, he would have still beat Crawford but uh, six years later, he was fighting a, a different fighter than the one Sean Porter had faced. So this is the one opponent that they have in common. So I wanted to show you when both guys, Crawford and Sean Porter, had got hurt. Here you see Sean Porter leaning over against Earl Spence, uh, bullying, trying to bull his way in. And Earl Spence catches him with a short, very in close, tight left cross, buzzing Sean Porter. Uh, uh, this was a knockdown in the fight for Sean Porter. He, he looked like he didn't know where he was at for a second. Because, they, you know, like they say in boxing, the punch that you don't see is the one that, that hurts you. And... Uh, could this look like uh, Sean Porter never even seen this punch coming the way that he reacted to this punch? And I think this, this knockdown uh, ensured Spence's victory in their fight. It was, uh, some have it very close, but I didn't really have it that close. I, I thought Earl Spence was outboxing uh, Sean Porter at his own game. Like he... He, uh, he could have moved around, but he sat down and fought him. But I wanted to show you when Earl Spence attacks you and when he puts his arms down. So he's letting you know that he's defeated you. He'll, he'll if, if he starts to beat you up, he'll come at you like with his hands down and, and charge you. So he did that to Sean Porter.